My name is Sergeant Carly, C-A-R-L-Y, last name Hose, H-O-S-E. I am the Public Information Officer for the Washington County Sheriff's Office. Um, we're getting ready to get started. I'm going to introduce Sheriff Douglas Mullendore, um, last name M-U-L-L-E-N-D-O-R-E. -E. He is going to come up and recap some of the information which we have previously released and then has additional information to give. When he is finished speaking, he will turn it over to a representative from Maryland State Police. Um, additionally, they will not be taking questions at the conclusion of the press conference, um, so when they're finished, they're going to exit. Good evening. Sheriff Doug Mullendore, Washington County, Maryland Sheriff's Office. First of all, I want to say that my sincere condolences and sympathies go to the families of all those involved in today's incident, uh, certainly a tragic incident here in Washington County. I would like to thank all of the partner agencies that have participated with the Sheriff's Office uh, in this investigation, Maryland State Police, um, the FBI, the ATF, and the Smithsburg Police Department. To recap some of the facts that have already been released, on June 9, 2022, at approximately 2.30 p.m., the Washington County Emergency Communications Center received a report of an active shooter at the um, Columbia Machine Shop 12912 Bickle Road, Smithsburg, Maryland. Officers and deputies from multiple agencies responded. Officers from the Smithsburg Police Department were the first on the scene and located an injured subject outside the business in a field. It was dis quickly discovered that the suspect had fled the scene prior to law enforcement arrival and units relayed the information as far as the suspect vehicle description uh, and the suspect description. The vehicle was encountered by the Maryland State Police on Mapleville Road, Route 66, in the area of Mount Etna Road. The suspect and the trooper exchanged fire. Both subjects were injured and both were transported to Meredith Medical Center for treatment. At this time, I can confirm that all the victims and the suspects were current employees of the uh, Columbia Machine Incorporated. And I'm going to give you the names and ages of the victims uh, that we have at this time. The first being Mark Allen, A-L-A-N, Fry, F-R-E-Y. He's a 50-year-old white male. Second victim is Charles Edward Minnick. M-I-N-N-I-C-K, Jr. He is 31 years old, white male. The last of the deceased is Joshua Robert Wallace, W-A-L-L-A-C-E, 30-year-old, white male. The injured victim that was found outside was Brandon Chase Michael, who is also a white male, 42 years of age. The suspect is in custody at the Marriage Medical Center. He's identified as a 23-year-old Hispanic male who resides in West Virginia. We are not releasing his name at this time because he has not been charged. Uh, we are currently in the process of doing that. The weapons used at both scenes was a semi-automatic handgun. The exact caliber, make, and model is not being released at this time. It's part of the investigation. The motive for the the uh, shooting also has not uh, been determined at this time. The investigation is ongoing. This time I'm going to turn it over to the Maryland State Police for their statement. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Ron Snyder. I'm the Deputy Director of the uh, Office of Media Communication with Maryland State Police. Uh, here to provide an update on Maryland State Police's involvement in this case is Lieutenant Colonel Bill Doffmeyer, Chief of the Criminal Investigation Bureau. Good evening. As you said, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Bill Doffelmeyer with the State Police Criminal Investigation Bureau, and along with the Sheriff's Office, we would like to extend our um, sadness and grief for the families involved in this incident. Uh, once Sheriff's Office units arrived, they quickly put out a broadcast for a vehicle and a suspect and a sense of direction. There were three troopers that were on 60, Route 66 proceeding towards the scene. 
when they encountered a vehicle matching the description of the suspect. When the troopers went to stop the vehicle, the suspect immediately started firing multiple rounds at the troopers. The troopers returned fire, striking the suspect. During the course of gunfire, one trooper did receive an injury uh, from the gunfire. But the suspect and the trooper were treated, taken to Meredith Hospital, and the trooper is doing well, and the suspect is continuing to be treated. Uh, there was a handgun recovered at the uh, within the vehicle, and right now we're just still working on working with the sheriff's office on on why it happened and why it kept escalating. So thank you for your time. Okay. The first name Bill B I L L. Last name Doffelmeyer. D O F F L E M Y E R. Thank you. Is there any message you had to the community tonight in the wake of shootings happening across the country? Um, as it was stated earlier, this um, incident is no longer an active threat to our community. Okay. Um, we will not be holding any more press conferences this, this evening. More information as we get it will be released via press conference throughout tomorrow. So thank you very much. appreciate your time and patience with us. No, we're not taking any questions at this time. Thank you.